Well, today the governor vetoed one and a half million dollars in earmarks from the state budget. Our Becky Buds is at the state house tonight with those details. Last year, Governor McMaster vetoed 73 projects, totaling more than $50 million. He credited lawmakers with passing a good budget and didn't take issue with much of what they came up with. McMaster's line item vetoes include earmarks he said lacked details, including one where a lawmaker sits on the board of an earmark recipient, in addition to several projects and one-year items that he said were redundant. McMaster highlighted budget wins, including pay raises for state employees, teachers, and law enforcement. He also touted income tax cuts, workforce scholarships, and tuition freezes at state colleges and universities. He says next year, every college and university will be expected to provide plans to reduce tuition and fees. Democratic Representative Gilda Cobb Hunter says technical colleges and South Carolina State University should have gotten more money than they were. Our unprecedented investments and dependence on higher education demand greater accountability and restraint and economy by these institutions when it comes to the total bill being paid by the students and their parents. How are we going to continue to bring students to campuses that don't have adequate library resources and residential resources? Chamber leaders say they're waiting until January to come back and override any vetoes. Reporting at the State House, Becky Buds, News 19, WLTX. Well, Republican House Speaker Merle Smith did issue a statement on the governor's vetoes today, praising the governor for calling lawmakers back into session to deal with all of this and for what he called a productive relationship between the two branches of government. Smith added that all parties demonstrated how government works best for the people of South Carolina.